I'm here with Victor Meyer Schoenberger, who is a professor at Oxford University here at the Internet Institute. And what I wanted to talk to you about is big data and artificial intelligence, and especially the hype around it. Um, we've we've seen massive hype curves. I guess we both have benefited from this, having written books on on big data. Um, Big data then disappeared a little bit from the hype and now it's all about artificial intelligence. So maybe you can give me your your views on is this hype justified? Where is this going? What What's next? Absolutely. And indeed we have benefited. But we both also identified, I think, what is so special about the data age. Mm. Uh, and that is that we begin to learn from data. And the learning can be learning by humans. We learn from data by doing classical statistical analysis, but we can also now use machine learning and deep learning uh, and, and, and use tools that are now considered artificial intelligence. I am so old that I still remember the artificial intelligence of the 1980s, rule-based artificial intelligence. Now, of course, today's artificial intelligence isn't rule-based anymore. It's all driven by insights from data. In that sense, the big data age has just continued. The only thing that changed is that we have better tools available to tease out the insights in the data. In fact, we have tools now where we can tease insights that humans often overlook. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that to me is a, a dramatic boon because it helps us make better decisions. Um, the machine learning and artificial intelligence applications help us identify skin cancer better than the average dermatologist, lung cancer better than the average lung doctor. That makes us better deciders. Mm -hmm. The decision making is improved. In that sense, it's a continuation of the big data age, um, even if we now call it the artificial intelligence age. But essentially, what's at the, at the core of it is still the same thing, and that is learning from data to make better decisions. Very good. I couldn't agree more. For me, this is just a, a continuum. We, we pick different hype names. We call it big data. I never liked the term. We then pick AI. What do you see coming next? Where is this all going? Well, I, I think um, what we see is, uh, as the, the focus is shifting, um, the big data age or the big data phase was there because we really needed to focus on the importance of collecting data and managing data. And once we had sort of solved that, or at least understood the importance of it, we then needed to focus on tools to tease out some of the insights from the data. And that's why we poured so much into uh, so much effort and so much resources into machine learning and d deep learning uh, and so forth. And now we are making tremendous progress there, uh, amazing progress. As we are sort of moving up the value chain, what's the next big thing? Well, the next big thing I think is quite obviously decision-making. Um, we, we now have tools to tease out the insights from the data. Can we then take the insight and sort of translate them into concrete recommendations of decisions? Mm. Um, and that, I think, I think is where the next big thing is happening. Um, it's, not, it's not capturing cancer from a photograph of a skin lesion. It's telling me whether I should um, take the train or take an Uber to work. It's helping me make decisions, small mm -hmm. and large. And, and I think as we move uh, again into that lever, into that level, we need specific tools, we need specific technical help for that. But we also need an ecosystem, we need structures and organizations and intermediaries and so forth to take care of that. So watch this space, watch the decision-making space as the next big thing. Interesting. And if, if someone came to you and said, actually, big data and AI, for me, this is still hype, how do you counteract this? What, how do you justify that this is actually a transformative trend that is having a, a real impact on, on businesses and the economy and our society at large. 
Well, if we look at the economy, what we immediately see is that those that utilize artificial intelligence and data to a very large extent, th those are the companies that are winning. Those are the Amazons, the Apples, the Googles, uh, the Gaffers, as they are called, or the platform companies. They are, they are milking the data, um, but not just milking it, gaining insights from it. Uh, the same is with the startup companies. Were you know the the hot startups? There were data meets insight, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and that's where the action is. So it, on the economy, it's quite obvious to me. But those that come in and say, "Well, artificial intelligence gets it wrong here or there," you know, I I point to something that is that to me was quite remarkable, and that was. Alpha Go winning against the Go champion. And to me, the interesting thing isn't that they won, that Alpha Go as a software, as a self learning software, uh, won against the best human champion of Go, supposedly a game that is so open ended that it really requires cognitive uh, capabilities that computers don't have. But what is really interesting is that when the humans looked at how Alpha Zero played Go, they realized that they have played Go the wrong way for centuries. Mm -hmm. And that there was a different strategy to play Go that the computer made visible, an insight that we humans had missed. Mm -hmm. And when you look at this and you say, gosh, there is this insight, and this is with Go, how many insights are there in medicine, in education that we have missed? How much human potential has not been reaped because we have been not only inefficient but unproductive in reaping? Then I think there is no question that if you want to live longer and better, you better use computers. I, I agree. And I, I couldn't agree more that for me, whether we call it big data or AI or or whatever we call it in the future, it will make a huge difference and make our world hopefully a better place. So. Right. And, and, you know, in your work as well as in mine, we have been running around trying to point out how data has been transformative and helpful. Mm -hmm. um, and in that sense, uh, what we have been doing is also uh, collecting a lot of uh, impactful stories. Mm -hmm. And what to me is remarkable is that because data uh, can be transformed into insights, uh, it helps us make better decisions. And decision making is what we do everywhere, mm. every day. And so therefore, this data age transcends every sector and affects every sector. That's why we see examples from so many different uh, varieties. Great. Thank you very much. Sure. Thank you.